Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah hari ini uh, 212 Mart Sentra Danau Kemuning Bojong Gede Bogor uh, sudah mengadakan kegiatan bersama dengan anak-anak yatim buka bersama dan lanjut dengan uh, belanja uh, menggunakan voucher 50.000 dan mereka bisa leluasa belanja di 212 Mart SDK Bojong Gede dan sangat menyenangkan ketika bertemu dan berkumpul dengan anak-anak yatim dari Yayasan Mardotilah Vila Mutiara Bogor mereka sangat antusias berbelanja bersama-sama teman-temannya dan mereka juga leluasa memilih kebutuhannya sesuai dengan keinginannya dan diharapkan ini menjadi kegiatan rutin kami Alhamdulillah selama tujuh bulan ini SDK Sentra Danau Kemungin Kabupaten Bogor sudah mengadakan kegiatan seperti ini eh, yang selalu dibiayai donasi dari jamaah-jamaah tadi juga Mbak Da Asar kami eh, didatangi oleh orang sekitar kami dari teman-teman yang eh, sudah yatim piatu dan jompo untuk hadir di sini bersilaturahim untuk belanja dari kami dengan menggunakan voucher 50000 tapi barakallah mereka juga eh, dengan dana yang tidak eh, banyak ini kami juga bisa jadwalkan setiap bulannya untuk dibagikan untuk sesama kami di lingkungan SDK Bojong Gede. Insya Allah apa yang kami niatkan ini hanya mencari reda Allah dan nanti ke depannya SDK Bojong Gede eh, omsetnya naik terus amin amin ya robbal alamin ini mungkin dengan cara kami seperti ini nanti insya Allah barakahnya uh, didapatkan mungkin yang kami bisa sampaikan ini dan buat teman-teman yang lainnya pengelola 212 mat seluruh Indonesia tetap berjuang dan semangat Allahu Akbar wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good evening, Dr. Zakir. My name is Jal, and I work here for Emirates Bank International. My question to you is, which other religion says that they are awaiting the coming of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, other than Muslim and Christianity? Sister, that's the question that which other religion besides Islam and Christianity says that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu will come? Sister, Besides the religion of Christianity and Islam, most, if not all, most of the religion that came before Islam prophesied about coming of the last and final messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I've given a talk on Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the various world religious scriptures. Besides Christianity, you also find in Judaism about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18 about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 19. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 29, verse number 12. In the Song of Solomon, chapter number 5, verse number 16. That's the Old Testament. In the New Testament, Christianity is mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 16. Gospel of John, chapter 15, verse 26. Gospel of John, chapter 16, verse number 7. Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14. There are many verses in the Old Testament and the New Testament prophesying about the coming of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Since your name is Jal, and I assume you're a Hindu sister, correct? Yes. I've even given the talk on Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Hindu scriptures. I can give a talk for a few hours only on Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Hindu scriptures. Time will not permit me to go into detail. I'll just give the references. If you read the Hindu scriptures, the Hindu scriptures are of two types. One is Smriti, the other is Shruti. Shruti means the words of God, in which you have Vedas and the Upanishads. Smriti is the word of human being in which you have Manu Smriti, you have Ramayan, Mahabharat, epics, etc. You also have the Puranas. If you read Bhavishya Purana, it's mentioned Bhavishya Purana, Parva 3, Khanda 3, Adhyay 3, Shlokas 5 to 8, which speaks about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's mentioned Bhavishya Purana, Parva 3, Khanda 3, Adhyay 3, Shlokas 10 to 27, talking about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as the Malaysia. He is mentioned in, he is mentioned in Atharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 21, verse number 6. Atharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 21, verse number 7. He is also mentioned in Atharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 127, verse 1 to 14, which is called as Kuntap Suktas. Kuntap means hidden. It speaks about the coming of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that he will be the praiseworthy, 
he will have 60,000 enemies, etc. He is also mentioned in Rig Ved, book number 1, chapter number 53, verse number 9. He is mentioned as Ahmad, which means one who praises in Uttar Chik, mantra number 1500. It's mentioned in Indra, chapter number 2, verse number 152. Yajur chapter number 31, verse number 18. He is also mentioned in Atharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 126, verse number 1 to 14. He is called as Nara Shansa. Nar means man, person. Shansa means coming from Prashansa, praiseworthy. A man who is praiseworthy. If you translate Nara Shansa, man who is praiseworthy into Arabic, it means Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He is prophesied as Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Rig Ved, book number 1, hymn number 13, verse number 3. In Rig Ved, book number 10, hymn number 64, verse number 3. He's mentioned Rig Ved, book number 2, hymn number 3, verse number 5. Rig Ved, book number 5, hymn number 5, verse number 2. He's also mentioned Yajur Ved, chapter number 20, verse 37. Yajur Ved, chapter number 21, verse number 31. I can go on and on and on mentioning only the references of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned in the scriptures. Due to limitation of time, I will just touch on one prophecy a little bit in more detail. He has been prophesied as the Kalki Autar. You know, when you read the Kalki Purana, book number two, verse number five, seven, nine, eleven, fourteen, he is prophesied as the Kalki Autar. And it's mentioned there that his father's name will be Vishnu Yas. Vishnu means God, Yas means servant, servant of God. If you translate to Arabic, it's Abdullah. The father of the name of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi was Abdullah. His mother's name will be Sumati. Sumati means serenity, peaceful. If you translate Arabic, it means Amina. The name of the mother of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is Amina. It says he will be born in a city by the name Sambala. Sambala means a place of peace and serenity. That is Makkah. He'll be born in the house of the chief of the village of Sambala. He was born in the house of Quraysh. It says he will be born on the 12th you clap at every point, it will go on for hundreds of claps, mashallah. <laughs> he will be born on the 12th month of Madhav, that the 12th Rabbi Awal. It says that he will be a teacher for the whole of humanity. And we know Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was sent to the mercy of the whole of humanity. It says he will get the first revelation in a cave known as Gare Hira. It says he will migrate northwards and come back. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went from Makkah to Medina northwards and came back. It says that he will be given eight supernal qualities. It says that he'll have four companions talking about the first four Khulfar Ashadeen. It says that he'll be helped with the angels in the battlefield. We know Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam held in the battle of Badr with angels. I can go on and on talking only about the prophecy of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So if you're a Hindu and if you believe in the Hindu scriptures, you also have to believe the last and final avatar, the last and final messenger in Hinduism is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. However, Doctor, uh, according to Hinduism, the Kalki Avatar is still being awaited. So are you, uh, is it that if we, you are, have we not, are just not aware about it? You said the Kalki Avatar is yet awaited. If you have not recognized the Kalki Avatar, you are to blame, not me. I have given you so many similarities. Now you have to disprove it. You say, my scripture says Vishnu Yas, father's name. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, father's name was not Vishnu Yas. You have to disprove me. Now, this has been done by pundits of Hinduism. Hindu scholars have also written this. Now, the Hindu scholars are preventing the truth from you. They are hiding the truth from you. You as a logical girl, as an intelligent girl who is working in a high post, it's your duty to realize that if your priest are hiding the truth from you, we can have a debate with your priest. You can call the doctors of divinity. You know, I have had dialogues with pundits. You know, one of the very famous is Shri Ravi Shankar. He never disagreed. He agreed. He agreed with what I said about oneness of Almighty God, has got no images. He believed in Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He did not accept that's a different thing because he will lose his following. Therefore, sister, do you have a following? So you have no fear to lose the following. So when I've given you so many references with giving quotations, I'm not pulling a fast one. You can very well go and check and verify. But after you verify, do you accept in the last and final messenger? Do you? Yes. So do you believe in Prophet Muhammad, peace yes. be upon him? MashaAllah.
Do you believe that there's one God? Yes, I do. Do you believe Almighty God has got no images? Yes, I do. So you believe there's God and He has no images? Yes. And do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Yes, I do. Then you're a Muslim sister. <laughs> what you said is the Shahada in English. Do you want to repeat in Arabic if you want, sister? What you said is in English that there's no God but Allah and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger. Would you like to repeat in Arabic, sister? I do. Okay. I'll just repeat it and you have to continue, sister. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abdu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. I bet. Mashallah, sister. May Allah. Mash Mashallah, sister. May Allah reward you. You have joined a family of religion of peace of more than 1.3 to 1.5 billion. May Allah reward you. And may Allah grant you Jannah, inshallah. And believe me, sister, it requires guts. I feel that, mashallah, I really admire your guts more than Shri Shri Ravi Shankar, mashallah. <laughs> and I pray that may give you hidayah and may guide you, inshallah. And sister, if you have any questions, any queries, there are local organizations in Dubai who can surely clarify your misconceptions. To understand Islam, look at the Quran and the Sai Hadith. They are the best guides. If you have any queries, you can even write to the email at islam at irf.net. It's my pleasure to reply. And do pray for me also, sister.